it's Wednesday of Holy Week and I hope that you're okay and those you live with are keeping safe as well. One of the amazing things about this time of being socially distant and staying at home is that for many of us we are still able to keep really well connected to one another through social networking. And I don't know how we'd manage without that. One of the highlights of my week actually so far was a Zoom gathering on Sunday night of all my friends from church, about 18 different households. We were there catching up with one another. And it was just really good to see friends who we haven't seen for a while and remind ourselves of how important those relationships are. This week in Holy Week, uh, I want to reflect just briefly on some of the things that happened whilst Jesus was on the cross. And one of the things was his relationship with his family. His mother, Mary, was watching and his closest disciple was watching as he was there hanging on the cross. And in that moment, he handed over the responsibility of caring for his mother to his closest disciple. And it says in the Bible that from that day on, his mum lived with this disciple and he treated her as if she was his own mum. I wonder whether there are people who've been there for you in your life who might not be your parents but they've been there for you in some way. Maybe today would be a good time to remember who they are and to be thankful for them but also to remember how important it is to look beyond our own immediate circles to look out for one another and be that greater community, that family as we talk about often in school, the Archie family where everyone belongs. Here's a prayer for today. Heavenly Father, thank you for those who have been like family to us. Help us to be there for friends in need. We pray today for people who are sick with coronavirus, for those who are in hospital who cannot see their families or their friends, and for those who are working away from their loved ones. May they know how important and precious they are. Give them courage, comfort and strength in these difficult days. In the name of Christ. Amen.